Now that you have UV Master installed, you'll be able to locate it under the Z plugin palette. I'm going to dock this over on the right hand side. Here we can see the UV Master pull down, which I'll open up. And we have a whole bunch of options in here, which I'll talk about each one in depth. But for this video, I'd like to just create a simple unwrap. But before we do that, I'd like to point out that UV Master is a very unique UV creation and unwrapping tool. You might be familiar with other UV creation tools, or maybe you've never unwrapped and created UVs before. But the important thing that I want you to understand here is that UV Master is designed to make things quick and easy. It's important that you don't spend lots of time trying to create exact UV seams or edit UV detail. You just want to get in and create clean looking UVs and if we need to do any editing again it's just done with quick broad paint strokes which you'll see in a moment. So for this let's work with the demo head. I'm going to open up Lightbox, double click on the demo head and the very first thing that you're going to do when you're unwrapping a model is you're going to work with a clone of that model. So right here I have the demo head, but you'll notice in my UV Master pull-down I have a button here that says Work on Clone. I'm going to click that, and that's automatically going to make a clone of the demo head. I had some subtools for eyes and teeth in the demo head which got left behind, but that doesn't matter for right now. You'll also notice that we're at a lower poly count and we have a new material. The lower poly count is basically because when you click work on clone, it's going to create a clone at the lowest subdivision level for that model. The demo head currently had some subdivision levels, so it moved all the way down to the lowest and created the clone. As far as the material, during this video we're going to do some painting which suggests the regions that we want to protect from seams and regions where we want to create seams. This white material just helps us see that painting a little bit better. So the very first thing we can do is just simply click Unwrap. And that's it. I've already created a whole new V set for this model. If you'd like to see the way that those UVs are laid out, simply press this new button, Flatten. We can then see our UVs flattened out. Now these UVs are very optimized as far as UV space is concerned and very evenly spaced. So this is already a very good UV layout. However, the seams that we see here may not be the exact seams that you want running along your model. And it might not be easy to understand where the seams are placed by this flattened view. So I'm going to click Unflatten. You'll also notice under the Flatten button we have a button here called Check Seams. I can click that and then we can see where our seams have been placed. Even though the unwrap is good as far as UV spacing is concerned, we might want to adjust where these seams are. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we're not going to be spending time specifically placing our seams and exactly telling UV Master where we want seams. UV Master is here to do most of the work for you. So what we're going to do is suggest regions where we want to protect and regions where we'd like to attract seams to. And this is a simple process. What you need to do is click this button that says Enable Control Painting. I'm going to turn off Check Seams for right now. Now that I have Enable Control Painting active, you'll notice that you have three options here. Protect, Attract, and Erase. Protect is going to let me paint with a red color, which will allow me to protect the parts of my model that I don't want seams to show up. So I'll click Protect, and I'll simply just paint on the model. So in this case I want to protect the face of the demo head and I'd prefer seams not to show up in this place. Notice I'm not really worrying about where I paint, just a general suggestion as I mentioned earlier. Now that I've made this suggestion, this is usually good enough. You don't always need to paint areas to protect and areas that you want to attract, but in this case I'll just demonstrate both. So again, this red is where we don't want seams showing up and now I'll click the Attract button. And I'm just going to generally paint a broad area that I want seams to be attracted to. I'm not going to paint individual seams. Again, that's not what UV Master is about. It's about making your workflow incredibly quick and easy. So I know this is probably a good region for some of my seams to show up. Now that I've protected the face and suggested some areas I'd like seams to be, all I need to do is press Unwrap again. 
anytime you make any edits you're going to want to make sure you press unwrap button so I'll press that now we can see our control painting has disappeared and now we can press the flatten button again and you can see we have a very different unwrap again still with very clean evenly spaced optimized UVs but now we've suggested where we'd like to protect from seams and this is a much much better unwrap I can click on flatten and let's just throw on a checker map to test out how our UVs look with the UV master plugin inside that download folder you'll see that there's several checker maps that you can use I'll go to texture map here in the tool palette click new texture click on this white box here where we see image and I'm going to select one of these checker maps that I imported earlier from the UV master folder and that's looking very nice really evenly spaced UVs and we can see that our seam has been placed in the back of the model now we're not really concerned about this clone this clone was just for getting our UVs laid out we want these UVs placed back on the original demo head so this is a simple process I'm gonna go back up to the UV master pull down and I'm simply gonna click copy UVs now that I've copied those UVs I'll simply click on the demo head make sure it's the active subtool because remember I have some eyes and teeth here as different subtools and I'm gonna paste the UVs so simply click paste UVs and that's all there is to it If I go back down to the texture pull down I'll create new texture and select one of those checker maps I'll select the same one that I selected before so even though I took the time to kind of explain this step by step it's an incredibly fast process and that's the way that you should treat it just get in go ahead and press the unwrap button look at the flattened version of your unwrap and if you need to make any general suggestions as far as where the UV seams should be just go ahead and use your enable control painting you can paint the protect area you can paint the attract area and if you need to make any changes to either of those paintings you can press the erase button to erase that back to white